What is going on guys? Welcome back. By the time you see this, it's going to have thousands of views, but I'm so glad to say I was one of the first ones to watch the Soft Drink Sports Fall of EA Sports documentary. And I just want to first and foremost say this was exceptionally well done. This, this guy has so much talent in our community. And I'm so glad that he takes his talent and applies it to sports games because basically what he did, at least my understanding, is really only interviewed one or two people and literally clipped all our audio together to make what is over 50 minutes of the beginning, the prime, the fall, and the current day of EA Sports. And a lot of it obviously revolves around Madden. But I will say that so much care was given and attention to quality and making something that you want to watch far beyond exceeding, in my opinion, what EA puts as far as quality into their games as a matter of fact. It really was nice to see something come together like this with so many people in the community. But I do want to mention a couple things uh, because I literally have one of the most contrasting viewpoints in the documentary, which should probably come to no surprise to many of you. One of the things that I've seen in this community, and just if you don't know, I started when I watched a Gideon Prime video. And in the video, he was talking about shifting and warping. And I remember watching it, and I thought to myself, here's a guy that gets a lot of the problems I have in Madden. This is refreshing. I've had these problems with this game for a long time, and here's somebody that I can relate to showing them with me, and I know that I'm not alone. And I said to myself, you know, beyond that, though, beyond this, you know, shifting and warping, there's some really deep-rooted problems in this game. There's some X's and O's problems with the football here. Let me try to make a video that's a little bit shorter that goes over some of those problems and see if people don't respond to that the same way. So if you go back, a majority of my videos are very short, very tight, going over very specific issues. So I've literally seen this company go from one of the most competitive markets in football gaming against 2K Sports, against Game Day, to the only player in the NFL licensed game. And I've seen the quality, I don't want to say go down, but at least stay where it is. And unfortunately, that's went across multiple game consoles. So in this documentary, at this point, obviously, many of us have had the opportunity to go to EA and have interactions with developers because we all have, you know, larger followings or YouTube channels. One of the overwhelming discussion points is that the game developers, the people that work on the game, don't have the ability to get these changes. For whatever reason, we need to blame the executives. And I've always had a real problem with that ideology because, to me, as someone that's been employed by a couple companies, if I ever went to a company that was doing the wrong thing or wasn't listening to their customer, I've often thought that, number one, if you're not going to listen to your employee. That's one thing. And at times, that's acceptable. If an employee goes to a, a upper management and says, hey, I have this problem, and they collectively come together and say, okay, we're, we're not going to deal with this. This is a problem that you have personally that you can find ways to mediate and resolve, and therefore, it's not worth our attention. That's one thing. That happens with companies every single day. However, as an employee, when you take your customer's frustrations back, that's a different level. Now, to the people that are friends with these developers that say their hands are tied, they can't do anything, then quite frankly, they need to find another place to work. And I can say that confidently because I've been there. I've worked at a company that would not be receptive to what started as my complaints and what advanced to customer complaints. And at that point, I made the decision, this is not a good company to work for. This company is not adapting, it's not reacting, and therefore, ultimately, it's going to find itself in financial trouble at some point. Might not be five years, might not be 50 years, but I'm no longer willing to put my name on this company. Okay, that's a life lesson there. Friendships don't matter in business. If I have a friend come over and work on something for me, I have an anticipation that he would do a better job for me as a friend than a random person that called. Now, whether that's the right perception for you to have or not, 
is up to you. But when you befriend a developer, you're naturally going to be inclined to not want to be as harsh on them as possible. Because this is your friend. You're naturally going to want to listen to their ideology of why they can't do things inside with them. But that's really the opposite of what you should be doing. You should be going to this person and saying, hey, you're a smart person. You're an intelligent person. You're a valuable asset to a company. If this company isn't respecting you as an employee enough to listen to you or the customer that is dependent on your salary, then maybe you should look into other options. Maybe you should explore other companies. That's what a friend, in my opinion, would do. That's how I would approach it as a friend. This company doesn't fit with how I view you as a person. That's why I've never subscribed to the whole blame the suits issue. Because the reality is, it got to a point with customers this very year that you can't take back the negativity. You can't take back the dislikes on the trailer. You can't take back the fix the franchise. Okay, that's no longer creative. That's no longer a gamer coming to you and saying, hey, can you work with us to make this game better? And that's this gym just rejecting the product. I'm going to reject this game because it's not meeting my standard. No matter how many friends I have in that building, and I have quite a few people, a lot of you know, I just went through a medical issue. EA Sports had people reaching out to me. Okay, we don't have a fractured relationship, but they also have a very clear understanding of where I stand with them. It's not one person's fault the game is bad, but it's many people's fault the reason the game is there. Okay, I've talked about Kralo a number of times. He's a great guy. I'm glad that he overcame his struggles, but... He is not reactive to the community response. And if he is, it's not leading to meaningful changes. So if he really is the greatest guy in the world, then his talents would be served at a different company because he's not getting anything done where he is now. Clint may be the greatest football player that ever lived, but his talents would be served better elsewhere because he's not making meaningful changes in the game. That's not anyone being mean, okay? Somebody being mean is going and disliking a game trailer. Somebody being mean is going and leaving a horrible review for a game that's not even released yet. That's happening right now as we speak. As you listen to this, that's happening. That's being mean. But to sit there and push aside every person making that game and say it's not their fault because... The suits, the executives, the powers that be tell them what to do. At some point, it's that individual's responsibility to go to them and say, listen, if you're not going to listen to me, that's one thing. But now you have to listen to the customer because without them, none of us have employment. And I think no matter how any of us feel about this game, we can all agree the downfall of this game and the fall off in quality has been years and years and years of a subpar product. Other than that, take the additional 50 minutes of your day and go watch this video. Leave it a thumbs up. Let him know you appreciate the time, effort, and energy he put into it. And just know that this guy is passionate, as so many of us are, about getting a better football game. And whether EA provides it or not, we're going to find a company that will. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out. You know I will be back in the week with more commentary.